congratulations admitted transfer student, UC Berkeley Golden Bears. We're really proud to admit you to our incoming class of 2024. This is your Map at Berkeley portal here, and we're here to go over the basics of this, but the main premise of this video is to go over the update form. As you see in the resources section of your Map at Berkeley homepage, you'll be able to read your conditions of admission, which are requirements that you'll be held to to maintain your transfer admission eligibility to UC Berkeley. If you would like to view your financial aid and scholarship award offer, you'll be able to click on the next hyperlink or hit the proceed to Cal Central button to view your financial aid offer letter and accept or decline any financial aid offers awarded to you. The last section is the frequently asked questions. If you click on the hyperlink for the FAQs, you'll be directed to commonly asked questions by admitted transfer students, and hopefully you'll find the answers to your general questions in that section there. If you have any updates to provide us, any changes to your courses, a grade that was a D grade or lower, or any other things that may result in you breaking your conditions of admission, we would like to know about that. So in the questions and updates box, this is one area where you'll be able to find the link to something called the update form. The update form will go into greater detail in a second here, but there's another way that you can access the update form off of your Map at Berkeley homepage. In the form section, there is a hyperlink to undergraduate admissions update form, and that takes you to the same thing. So we'll click on the update form. And once the update form loads, you'll see these different category areas. You can choose one or multiple areas if you have multiple updates to share all at once. If not, you'll click the one area that you have an update for and provide the detailed information for that specific update. We'll go one by one individually for each category. The first one is, I will no longer meet the breadth requirements as required by my college. For co students in the College of Letters and Science, that could include Letters and Science, Essential Skills, Breath, UC Reciprocity, or a full UC IGETSI certification. If you're a student that was not admitted to the College of Letters and Science, the breadth might be slightly different for that third option. So if you click on this box, it'll ask you which breadth requirement you are not fulfilling. So you'll pick full UC IGETSI, UC Reciprocity, or if you're an LNS student, for letters and science essential skills. You'll be able to provide detailed information as to why you are not meeting this condition in the boxes that follow. So you'll be able to let us know why you're unable to meet the specific condition of admission. What actions have you taken to attempt to meet this condition of admission? You wanna make sure that you provide a detailed timeline of any circumstances that may have happened during your last quarters or semester that may have caused you to not meet the breath requirement that is stated in your conditions of admission. And then finally, you can let us know what you're doing to possibly make up this condition of admission. For example, are you signing up for a summer course to fulfill the last course that you need for a full UCI GETC certification, et cetera? It will ask you specifically in the form in question number five, if you are enrolling in a summer course, to meet your condition. And if you say yes, you'll be able to provide more information on that course. There's also additional information that you can provide by choosing to upload that proof of enrollment to let us know that you are indeed taking the course that you need to fulfill the general breadth requirement that you have. And that is the first one. I will no longer meet breadth requirements. The next option is I have not or will not meet the UC transferable 3.0 minimum GPA requirement for winter 2022 and or spring 2022 term. So if your GPA fell below 3.0 during one of the two terms that are listed, either winter 2022 or spring 2022, you'll be able to provide us with detailed information similar to the first checkbox that you saw for not meeting breadth requirements. It asks the similar same questions as that one, where you want to provide as detailed of information as you can in each of the boxes. So when your admission officer goes to review your case, they'll have more information to go off of before making a recommendation on your admission status. 
if you do have any summer course enrollment, again, you can upload that unofficial transcript or enrollment verification saying that you are enrolled in a summer course. The next category is I have added or dropped a course or courses. So if you check on this box, you'll see that you have an option. So if you have updates to provide that weren't in your UC application after you completed your transfer application update in January, you'll be able to let us know now. So if you, for example, dropped a course, you'll hit drop. You'll put the department, say it's chemistry, you'll put chem, C-H-E-M. Then you'll put the course number, let's say it's chem one. And the course title is introduction to chemistry. You'll pick your school name. You can start typing the name of your school and then it should come down as a drop down option. So in this example, we'll use Berkeley City College. Click on that, you'll click the term. The term will either be winter 2022 or spring 2022. And then you'll pick the number of units for the class. Say it's a four unit course, for example. If you have multiple reports to put and add or drop, say something changed last minute with a course and because you dropped Chem 1 because enrollment was filled, you can click add a course change again. And you can say you added a different course and you'll be able to provide that specific information. And you can put multiple courses for ads or drops. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It can be a combination of both in this section. And just like some of the other updates, options that you have, you can always upload your unofficial transcript or enrollment verification report. The next category is, I will not complete 60 transferable semester units by the end of spring 2022. So for this, you'll be able to let us know what courses you may have dropped during spring or winter 2022 that may have caused you to fall under the 60 transferable semester units by the end of the spring 2022 term. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to provide additional information in detail, similar to some of the other boxes that we went over earlier in this demonstration as to why you're not able to meet this minimum unit condition and what actions you're taking to meet this condition. And if you are enrolling in a summer course to make up this condition and to get to 60 plus UC transferable semester units before you start at Berkeley in the fall, you'll be able to include that information as well. The next box is summer schedule. So sometimes students are required by their respective college to complete a summer course or two to meet their conditions of admission. So if you are required in your conditions of admission by your respective college at Berkeley to enroll in summer courses, you can let us know that you've enrolled in that course by picking summer schedule and filling out the corresponding information. If you need to add a course to your summer schedule because you were approved to take summer courses to meet the 60 transferable units or to meet breadth requirements as required by your respective college, you'll be able to fill out an update form with summer schedule and provide us with that enrollment verification for the summer course or courses that you're taking before you start at Berkeley in August for the fall semester. The next category is, I am having difficulty submitting a final transcript or final required document. We don't anticipate transfer students using this option until July but you may fill it out earlier if you've already submitted final official transcripts and it's been over three weeks since you submitted that sent in that transcript and submitted the request from your respective issuing body whether it be a school department or other organization you will get further information later on in the process for a missing transcript ticket as well that you'll be able to fill out but if you're having trouble submitting a transcript you can let your admission officer know by filling out the section with detailed information in the comments box. Last category is I have earned a D grade or lower in winter in a winter 2022 course, or I've earned a D grade or lower in a spring 2022 course, or will earn a grade of D or lower in a final spring term 2022 course. If this is the case, we'd like some detailed information on that, any extenuating circumstances that may have led to that low grade in the course, and then your admission officer will be able to review your case and get a decision to you. If you have supporting documents 
to upload, whether that's an official transcript with that final grade and your overall GPA for that specific term in the spring or winter, you can upload that transcript as well.